Hello, welcome to a video of Cycle Support Campus. Today I am going to show you the VMG 3625T50B. It's a broadband modem that comes with different VDSL and DSL connections, as well as four LAN ports, a USB connection and a strong wireless. So let's see how we do the basic setups and the troubleshooting. After unpacking the device, you can see the connections on the back side, where the grey is for DSL connection, the blue is for an internet access and the yellow are for LAN cables. Connect the power device to the power connector and the internet cable coming from your DSL provider to the DSL port. Use the yellow UTP cable to connect your computer and then switch on the device so that it can boot up. On the back side of the device you can find the type label where you can also see the username and password to log into the device and the standard value to log into the Wi-Fi network. While the device boots up you can see first is the power LED then the wireless LED starts, also the connection to the internet will flash, mostly at the beginning in red, and when the connection is established it will be green. Now we are ready to connect to the device. Use the 192.168.1.1 and enter the username with the password taken from the label. After that you have to change the password to a new one. Please note it down so that you can remember it later when you try to log in again. The easy setup is using the quick start wizard. First the device will change the time zone then it will detect the broadband and internet connection and in the basic setup of the Wi-Fi you can change the SSID and security key to your own values. Make sure if you use a new SSID and Wi-Fi key to note this down because the next client needs it for connection. When the changes have been applied, the device opens the main page. On the right hand side, you can browse to the different menus and change, for example, the broadband access connection. In this menu, your username and password for the connection to your internet provider is set. This will be normally provided by a letter from your provider. When you apply the correct changes, your internet DSL connection should turn to green. Some websites might require to change the MTU value. This is also an information that comes from your internet provider. Change it in this field and apply the changes to the device. The device also offers the opportunity to have a cellular backup using a USB dongle that is connected to the USB port on the backside. This LTE dongle will then take over the wide area network connection in case the wired connection fails. In the menu wireless you can change the number of clients that have access to your SSID as well as you can enable a guest network using a specific SSID and security for specific clients or client groups. Simply enter a new name and a way to connect to this device. You can also choose the security that guests should use or disable the security. In the wireless setup you can also change MAC authentication or WPS access to the network so that it is more convenient for other clients to connect. 
please refer to the user guide before you apply changes. Under Channel Status you can scan the 2.4 GHz network for free channels and the graphic shows how many access points are using which channel. In the wireless settings you can then change the channel selection from automatic to this specific channel so that your access point is the only one using this channel. That makes wireless problems disappear. The menu on the right hand side offers you different settings for your device. You can also apply a new firmware to the device under maintenance. Please make sure that the firmware version is compatible with the device using the same versions with the letters in the rounded brackets. Let's have a look for a typical application of this DSL router in your home environment. Here's a little guide where to put the device in your home. If it's located on an outside wall of your home, the clients that are far away from the device may face issues in wireless speed and connection. Try to position the device at the central point of your home. You can buy extra longer DSL connection cables to establish the position in the middle of your home. Here is an example of a good positioned device. All wireless clients have a good connection with the wireless and a strong signal. Then all devices that use Ethernet cables can be connected directly to the device so that the Ethernet does not take over capacities of the wireless. Changing the wireless channel can also optimize your network. Make sure there are no objects from metal or glass that can distort the wireless waves and avoid clients from connecting to the network. For any question about our products or for multiple help, visit our support portal under support.zyxel.eu. You can find more than 600 help articles in different languages as well as videos and our demonstration lab. We're Zysel and we're your networking ally.